Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Gonna be doing a weekend in my life. Um, I haven't done a weekend vlog, I feel like, in a while, but I have at the same time because literally I just did the moving vlog and that was over the weekend. But we're actually doing things now, so instead of moving. Um, but I also have a ton of updates within the home to show you all, so I'll be doing that in this vlog. But we're also gonna bop around and find some more home stuff hopefully today but it's currently almost 10 o'clock on saturday i just went to bean and bottle with griffin and we got some coffee he had some breakfast but i'm just gonna drink a yogurt before spin um as i leave but i love bean and bottle they have a maple berry ice latte and it is so good um and i'm like dressed up because i wanted to go ahead and get my instagram and feed photo for princess polly because i have a haul with them so i also have to get like an in feed photo so i wanted to go ahead and get that taken care of today um and i actually filmed the try on haul for it last weekend but the sound on all the footage is completely messed up so since the footage is completely messed up i have to refilm it this afternoon um but we're about to go to spin so i'm going to change by all this is princess polly that i'm wearing by the way um so check out my haul with them that video if you haven't already and yeah let's go ahead and get ready for spin and let's take on the weekend halloween weekend actually to be exact We need to talk. I'm so excited about this package. I've been hearing all the rage about Brooke linen towels and robes and their sheets and linens and everything. And I was like, I have to get my hands on some Brooke linen because I'm feeling FOMO right now. And I'm so excited that they are partnering with me on this portion of today's video. And I am so excited to be trying out their sheets. I'm sure you all know that high quality bedding can be so ridiculously expensive. And if you don't know anything about Brooke linen, they really prioritize providing luxury in multiple rooms throughout the home for you at a really great price point without that luxury markup that you typically tend to see with a lot of bath towels and with sheets and linens and everything like that. Brooklyn and sheets feel great and look great and they have so many different colors and patterns which I love because you're really getting the luxury sheet experience and you can really personalize it to have your own touch with all of the different colors and patterns. Me personally nothing beats the end of a long work day. It's being able to just feel so comfortable and at peace in your own bed. Brooklyn and Sheets have over 100,000 five-star reviews, which is incredible and is a true testament to how incredible their sheets are. Personally got the Brooklyn and Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. Instead of purchasing items separately, you can purchase one of their bundles and receive 25% off, which is a really great way to layer in some more savings, especially around this holiday time. This includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. These are the best-selling Lux Sateen sheets. I just made the bed with the sheets and these are so buttery soft. I love this neutral color and just look at how the sheets have this like luminous shine to them. It's like truly a hotel and that's exactly what I'm going for. A super luxurious 480 thread count. We personally got the soft gray color in the sheets and I really love this just because it's a beautiful neutral without being a white and I think it's just going to add a really nice touch of warmth to our bed. These are just really great for year-round comfort since they are more tightly woven and heavier weight. And I also have the Lux Sateen white duvet cover so super excited about this. And then we got the Lux Sateen extra pillowcases here and these are also just really soft and we got these in white. Just woke up from a really, really good night of sleep in our Brooklyn and sheets. I feel like the temperature was like perfect all night. I never got too cold, too hot. And I just really feel like I was just like in a hotel bed and I am obsessed with these sheets. And Brooklyn and is having their largest sale of the year for Black Friday, so you do not want to miss the savings that you can get on these luxury items for your home. The sale will be from Black Friday through November 30th, and you can click the link in my description down below to get 20% off at Brooklyn. And thank you so much to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Definitely check out Brooklyn and, and their sale that they're having because this only comes once a year, so you want to take advantage of it and get the best deal you can on the best luxury sheets and other products.
it's the afternoon now and I am in the upper Kirby area. I went to spin and it was really great. It was like fun, like a Halloween ride. Um, I didn't like dress up or anything, obviously, because I like honestly completely forgot it was a Halloween ride. And yeah, I wanted to go ahead and go to a lot of consignment shops that I had like found online while I was sort of like in the same area. I've gone to like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and some other like home stores that I knew of, like local places here in Houston. And I just have not found anything that I was like looking for for our home. And granted, a lot of it, like, I'm not trying to buy right now. I just wanted to see if there was anything that did stand out so I would know. Um, and I just didn't have any luck last weekend when I was looking. I just feel like everything's, like, really ridiculously expensive, honestly. Like, even at Home Goods, I'm like, why is this $50? And, like, that kind of thing. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go to consignment stores. Because when I was, like, growing up, if I wanted, like, a new desk or, like, little side table or something in my room when I was younger, I always went to consignment stores and I was like, I completely forgot they existed. And I found several that I like wanted to go to. So I just went to a bunch. Um, and the first one I went to was the Guild Shop. It was great. There were actually so many, there were like several things in there that I wanted to buy, but I was like, I don't really need this right now. And we have other things that we need to pay for. So I was like, I'm not gonna get it. Like there were really pretty mirrors that I knew would look really good, like propped up on like an entry table and stuff like that. And I saw like a few little entry table situations um and some really pretty art that I liked but I ended up only getting two things for Christmas decor from there but I spent six dollars which is amazing for two things obviously and I'll show y'all when I get home and then I went to Bluebird Circle shop and I didn't get anything there they had less furniture than the um guild shop but they have more clothes and stuff it seemed like and then I went to the charity guild shop which is a different one and I got two things from there and one of them is something that I've been looking for and I literally got it for five dollars and buying it like new online would have been so much money um so I'm really excited about that and to show you all that and then from there I went to Upper Kirby consignment which is where I just left they had really stunning stuff but everything I'm like that was like a higher end consignment store and I didn't know that going in so everything was like 300 plus dollars and I was like all right I'm gonna be in and out of here but now I'm gonna run in Trader Joe's really quickly and grab a few things for the Halloween party tonight that I'm going to at my brother and sister-in-law's and just a few things we need at home nothing crazy because I need to get home because I have to shower wash my hair completely get ready film a video walk Ella and eat before I go tonight so we got a lot to do Hi, it is so much later. Um, I am freshly showered. As you can tell, I'm about to do my hair with my air wrap because I'm gonna wear it straight um, tonight. And I wanted to quickly show y'all the bathroom update since the bathroom is now done, basically. Here is my vanity area on the right when you first come in. Ignore like the cleaning products and stuff. I know in like one of my last vlogs, I was struggling because I was like, I don't know if like what I have is too rustic <laughs> um, or if it's too modern and I was going back and forth, but I kind of ended up figuring it out like accidentally and I was also like I have so much stuff that has gold on it but there's no gold in here but then I was like you know what it doesn't matter it's not like there's anything that's like harshly silver because since I'm going to be changing these out with these and these have like a little bit of gold in them that kind of like shines through so once I change those I think it'll all tie together really really well and I feel like these are like a perfect mix of like rustic and modern too um so I kept this little TJ Maxx tray here this was like a gift my freshman year of college this is from my grandma it's like a music jewelry box thing um that I just keep some jewelry that my mom got for me in here and then this is from TJ Maxx so I kept this here and I love it ideally I'd have like a little bit of a taller candle but I really like this pink one in here because it just like ties together the other pink right here um just have some cleaning products right there for from last weekend then I have my little vanity mirror here and my makeup case is out right now this joy box I'm gonna end up putting on top of the dresser probably just because it doesn't match anything in here um, and I kind of want this whole space to be like pretty clean like I don't want it to be cluttered and I there's a joy box on Urban Outfitters that I really really want and it's white um, but I'm gonna sit and think on it it's like $75 so not as expensive as a lot of the other ones I've seen but um, I want to wait to get it to like know I want it and everything probably won't stay here we just have it here right now um, these are just some fake candles from Amazon and I figured it'd be like a good little vibe like if I'm getting ready <laughs> I wanted to turn those on and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this it's just like a little zodiac 
jewelry dish. Um, so that's the update there. And then this stool just came in the mail today. Ideally I'd have like a bigger chair here, but I'm just trying to save money for, like for the things that are going to be here that are like temporarily, but I'll keep this as long as it works for me. Um, it's a good height. If this whole counter was that height, it would be way too short, but since this part's lower, it's the perfect height. It's like a velvet cream little stool and I can hide it really easily in there. Um, and it's, it was like 35 or $40 on Amazon and it's really good quality. You just literally screw the legs in and it's ready to go. And it's looks so nice and it feels really nice. I posted on my Instagram story, I was like life hack, don't buy, spend money on things advertised as vanity trays and just buy a plate that you like. I bought like three different plates and granted plates are like, if you buy them by themselves from like Target, they're like $4. So I was like changing out different ones, but the one that ended up not working in here, I actually have in the guest bathroom. So that worked really well. This set of four from Target and they're actually not glass, but they look like really nice. Um, and I think that the color of it really ties in super well with the color of the drawers and cabinets. And I kept my little apothecary jar on here and this one that I had in my bathroom at the last place. And I was able to keep this out. Cause I was like, I feel like the black like ties in with that and a little bit of gold that's in it kind of ties in with the gold on the other side. So I feel like this worked out really well and I was really struggling with it. I swapped so many different little decor things out on it. And on this side, we just kind of have Griffin stuff. We have like two little towel hook things. Um, and I think the black that's in like this hand towel kind of like ties in the black over here. So I feel like this side's a little bit more modern, but it works because I feel like the color of the plates and then that little vase really works well with the stuff over there. Um, and then this is from our last place and so are these. So this is kind of like just our other stuff. That's the bathroom updates. I need to do my hair and put on makeup and film this Princess Polly try on haul. But first I need to clean up our bedroom because that's where I'm going to be filming it and it's a mess right now. I'm currently recording this on my phone because I'm editing this video and I realized I never did a haul of the things I got when I was consignment shopping. So I got this little cute house. I used to have a ton of these, like an entire village of them, of these like traditional ones when I was little because my grandparents had their own entire village, like all along the entire perimeter of their living room and I like was obsessed with it so then I like started my own but I only had probably like the size of this table worth of houses and um I still have them somewhere and I would love to get them back I'm trying to like cover up my addresses on these boxes but I think it'd be so cute to have a long skinny console table and like have them set up over there or something or really just for a future home doesn't have to be now but I got this one for like two or three dollars I got this little gnome santa which is so cute um for just like five dollars i think this little horse is actually a candlestick holder i don't have a candlestick in it right now i do want to get one but i will never light it um just so there's something in it but i just thought it was so cute and like traditional for a good little gold piece of christmas decor and then this is my five dollar find this vase i was looking for tall vases for so long and i kept seeing some online but they were like 80 plus dollars and i just couldn't justify spending that i knew i wanted a dark one to contrast against the lighter stone fireplace but i found this one and i mean is it ideal like no i would like one a little bit bigger but for now like this is just perfect and it's perfect for the holiday season too and um the red matches perfectly with what's in the red in this rug so it really just goes well with the rug and everything right now so i figured it'd be really good until we find like a new rug um but i just really needed something to put my holiday um florals and stuff in so i absolutely love that i found this for five dollars and there's definitely like some marks and stuff on it but it just gives it character you know to give you guys the update in the living room area and everything um just with like furniture and everything i have my fall pillows out now which are this little one in the middle and then this little knit one but i kind of keep this one out in the winter too but so we got this little console table and this table right here from griffin's parents um they had it from their old house and thankfully they like kept a lot of the furniture that they aren't using anymore so we luckily were able to get that without having to spend money and y'all know this couch is from them as well like but we've had it for like four years at this point um and then this rug they also gave us we were gonna buy one um and i found one that 
we really liked for like 200 bucks and it was big like this but we there are so many things that we are wanting to get done and the decorative type things it's like we really just shouldn't be spending all that money on that right now so we're just going to use this rug temporarily until we find one we really like because we kind of felt like we were settling with the cream one that was 200 dollars that we saw um now let's try and play with toy and we don't want to settle on it you know so like this is a really good temporary solution this is also from his parents from their old house it matches the couch and everything really well and i mean they got this rug i believe to match with this couch when they have this furniture so it matches really great um but ideally in this room i just want something brighter um just because it is we do have the darker walls and darker floors so um and since we don't get a ton of natural light like it's good right now but it's only for a few hours um i want it to be more light in here um by brightening up the floor of the brighter rug but this is a perfectly fine temporary solution um and i just kind of decorated back here with the coffee table books we had at our old place the fake candles i got that little vase from amazon i'll have it on my storefront and then i have my little fall arrangement right there little world series poster my little fake pumpkin and then this is just like a mess right now because there's stuff that needs to be put up on it and then the christmas decor i got from the consignment store and then that little fake fall floral arrangement and then this mirror is also from his parents but we may hang this one in the hallway um upstairs instead of right here because i think i want one a little bit smaller with more mirror space um right here and then this table is also from them. And we moved the old rug that was in the living room that's too small for the living room over here. Um, and this probably won't stay like this forever. We're just doing it to see if we like it. And I still don't know if I'm like forever gonna be working from down here. I really like it right now and it feels separate enough from the living room. Um, so I like that. I guess we'll test it out once busy season's here cause that will really be the indicator of whether or not I can sit down here all day. You guys will see my full costume in a second, but I'm packing up some things because I'm going to stay at my brother and sister-in-law's um, tonight because they live like an, we live like an hour from them now, so I can't like just easily go there for a few hours. I mean, I can, and I've done it before, but going this late at night, I don't feel comfortable getting on the road knowing that like, unfortunately, people drink and drive on holidays like this which makes me upset, but I would rather just be safe and stay put. So you don't have to like worry about it and I also just don't want to drive late because I will probably be staying up later than I'm used to, so I don't want to do that late of a drive at night by myself. So I just packed my little overnight things, just the basics. Um, I'm gonna take my lip stuff with me. I want to take my water bottle for sure so I can stay hydrated. I'm gonna take my hair tie too that fell on the floor. I just finished up filming my Princess Polly video, so thankfully I got that done and tomorrow I'll have to edit it um, and do some other work tomorrow and tomorrow will be a big cleaning day too. But okay, so costume reveal. What is that? Gloss. I don't have a mustache. Um, if I pass the Spirit Halloween, I'll run in and grab one, but I don't know if I will. Why don't so. you just draw one? I could draw one. A Sharpie? Yeah. Forever? I could practice my Mario. Because when people are like, what are you? Which, everybody's gonna know who I am. All right, ready? No. One, no, we're two, we're three. We're it's a me, Mario. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I have to make a few stops, so I'm gonna take off the hat and the gloves for that stop, but this will be in full swing when we get to my brother's. Good morning, guys. I'm unwell. This is why I don't drink like this. I don't mind having like a drink or two at dinner or like having a drink at dinner and then going to a cocktail bar and having a drink. But I quite literally hate drinking and feeling like this the next day. And it's like, I don't know if I'm hungover, which I definitely am a little bit, but 
I think part of it's just like being so off your sleep schedule because I went to bed at like 2 and got up at like 8.45. Um, so I'm exhausted. Um, but it was a lot of fun last night and we went to bed so late, but literally the last like two hours of the night, everyone was like super slumped. So like, I didn't even need to stay up that late. I helped start cleaning like last night for like 30 minutes. So at least I was doing something then, but the other hour and a half, I was like, I could have definitely gotten to bed. Um, but it's okay. It was fun. But I just picked up Starbucks and I'm about to make the trek back to my part of Houston that we're in now. Just got a butter croissant and my OG favorite fall drink, which is the iced shaken blonde espresso, pumpkin cream cold foam, oat milk, and one pump of apple brown sugar syrup. No classic. So, but yeah, let's head home. We need to clean today, even though I really don't feel like it. I got my brother Animal Crossing for his Switch for his birthday earlier this month, and he finally played it for the first time yesterday and he said he's gonna play it today too so i might get on that for the first time in like over almost two years i think the last time i played was christmas two years ago so maybe we'll play that at some point i'd like to read some that yeah, we need to clean and i might go to the grocery store but i want to do a curbside order but i can't do one this late for today but i don't want to get groceries tomorrow morning and have to get up earlier so We'll see. So it's like noon and um, we did some stuff on our patio earlier, really just hanging um, some solar string lights. So I'm gonna show you all that in a little bit because it looks so cute and we probably will not have outdoor furniture out there for a very long time unless we find something with a good price on Facebook Marketplace or something. But um, getting outdoor like entertainment set up, that's not a priority at all. Our patio door is like completely broken and we can't open it. So we're gonna have to get that replaced and I know that's gonna be so expensive. So, but um, one update in the bedroom. Um, putting curtains over the closet because these closet doors suck. They're broken, they cannot be on track, they keep falling off. Um, griffins are kind of okay, but they still don't work. Um, you can only like move the doors together in a way weird so with that these curtains are actually from the seller and she had taken them for a little bit but she brought them back by this week because she needed curtains temporarily at her place while she was waiting for her shutters to get installed at her new place and I like the color of these because they kind of match the trim but like I showed y'all before the trim is completely messed up from tearing the painters tape off because it was not painted properly whenever it was painted so we have curtains since the doors don't work but she also left the curtains in the living room but we actually ended up taking some of Griffin's family's old curtains from their old place that they weren't using so instead of these we have like nicer thick ones downstairs now um so i'm gonna try these on here instead of those dark ones just to see how it looks but i think it's probably gonna look bad the only reason i want to try to swap them out is because these are too short and i think it looks a little silly and i think we're gonna just have to trash these because they literally suck but eventually we would like to just have like one sliding big door with like a mirror on it or something and that will probably not happen for a long time either. So these are just the ideas we have. <laughs> Okay, we are in the guest bath. I just hung up the shower curtain. Unfortunately, it's literally a tad too long, which is so annoying. I got this one from uh, Home Goods last week. Um, I should have just measured and made sure I got one the right length, but I was like, surely it'll be fine. I was more worried about it being too short, if anything, but this one's like, I can't move this rod, I don't think. So yeah, but it's like barely too long and no one's really gonna be using this bathroom anyways unless people stay here. Um, I. And then we're missing a shower curtain ring, so it's like droopy over there because one of them broke. These are like really cheap and they suck. So I'm gonna have to order more of the ones that like we have in our bathroom. 
Um, I was trying to just like save the money because I think the seller just like left these in this bathroom. So we're like, okay, we'll just use them, but they suck. Um, they're like the little clasp o-ring ones, but this bathroom's like finally done basically. It's been like such a catch-all space for everything. Um, so we finally just cleared out our last two boxes that we had it completely emptied and broken down. So that's good. But, um, oh geez, remember this pink tray that was on my bathroom counter my sophomore year of college? And stay with me scents from World Market. I just have a little bath bomb and plant right there. I'm about to clean the tubs because I just finished cleaning like the toilets and counters and everything. I just have like the products for guests to use, which is, this is actually stuff that I was using, but I have like other shampoo and conditioner I'm using right now but I do love this stuff, but guests have good stuff to use. Um, I put the plate that didn't work for our bathroom in here because this gray actually really works with the color of this vanity and the little like specks in the counter. Um, and then I just have a little candle soap. Um, this jar is like from FabFitFun. I just thought it'd be a nice little pop of color and it ties with this pink really well. This room's a mess. We really want it to be like a cozy sort of like den but also workspace situation. I don't know. It's going to depend on if I end up liking working downstairs like long term. I'm really liking it so far. And I know that before like my concern was, oh, it it's hard like in the apartment because I just felt like my work and my living space wasn't separate. But since the desk is like off of the living space and in the kitchen, I like it. And I like that there's a lot more natural light downstairs and that I'm just like kind of in a more open space. Whereas in here, it's just darker and it's not as open. But if I need to like come up here for a meeting or something in Griffin's home and it's like late at night, I can do it because we have this other desk. But ideally we want like a futon or day bed situation. Um, and then we want to put another TV in here, I think, just for guests. But we also have like this setup. So we don't really know if it's going to stay in office or if it's going to become a guest room. But regardless, we need some sort of bed or something in here eventually for guests to have to sleep on. Um, so because we just have an air mattress right now, which is fine for the time being. But eventually we want to get something in here. Um, these are all like extra books. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I want like a cute little shelf and I think it would look really good right in our entryway. But also books are just kind of like clutter sometimes. But I think if you just like have some of them and not all of them, it'll look good. But all these were in a drawer in our old TV stand. So and then those are just like some art things that I haven't done anything with. I think I'm going to change out some of them and put new things in it. The curtains are on. We ended up cutting them because we we're just resourceful people, you know? So we ended up measuring it and cutting it to where it's just like a little bit longer. And we probably won't keep them shut all the time because it honestly does look kind of like, I don't know. It doesn't look silly, but it kind of does look silly. But if we need to shut them, we can. I have my nightstand set up. I have a little bit of a different setup than before. I just I put my hatch on my nightstand now instead of on the dresser. Um, I have this little tray that Griffin's mom got me for Christmas last year. Lamp, um, my like everyday type of like journal books, devotionals, and then um, just like a decorative book. And then I have that little candle there just because I think it looks cute. Up here, things are probably not going to stay this way. Um, this is some PR that I need to get content for, but um, this is the jewelry box. I ended up putting it in here. I kind of have these fake candles hiding the Wi-Fi thing, but it, I think feel like it looks dumb on the edge. If there was a wall here, I feel like it would look good, but there's not. And then I kind of set this up the same way. It was at our old place, how in the corner of the wall we have like the fake plant, the candle, and the frame, because I think the three of those things just look good together. And I'm actually in the middle of, I'm gonna change out all these knobs, because it's actually way easier than I thought. I thought I would need like tools, but I literally don't. So gonna do that and clean the shower. I just finished up doing the handles and they look so good. I realized that this little elephant was one in there. So I was like, okay, clearly like that's just like the one middle drawer. Um, and I mean, 
I don't have anything against elephants, roll tide, but um, I will probably like replace this eventually because this one's not um, very, it's not easy to open it because it's you have to like grab it funny and then it's not like tight. But I got all the other ones on and they look so much better. You can see that there's like a little bit of gold in these and it like just ties all this together really well. store it was the worst experience <laughs> I will never go on a Sunday evening again it took me longer to get through like get into the parking lot and then get through the parking lot and find a parking spot than it did for me to actually get to the store and we don't live like necessarily down the street from the store or anything so it took a while and then obviously like when it's crowded it takes a long time to get through everywhere but I got everything I needed so that's good no complaints there but we're about to go to Griffin's parents for dinner um, originally I was gonna cook tonight but we ended up seeing them earlier and um, we're just gonna go there for dinner. But I'm gonna take, I was gonna make these and take them over there, but I just got home and finished putting up the stuff in the store and they're just gonna be ready really soon. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over there. But I'm gonna make this pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix from Trader Joe's tonight. Um, Cause I got it a few weeks ago and I just haven't made it yet. So I'm gonna make this and I'll let y'all know how it is. But I got this from HEB, the crisp apple Olipop. And oh my God, it is so good. I love that they put the word crisp because it literally tastes like a crisp apple. Like I feel like I'm taking a chunk of a bite out of like a very crisp, fresh apple. It has like that tartiness to it. I wish I would have got more than one of these because they are to die for. Also, I got one other thing from the store that I'm excited about, which we're gonna be making our HelloFresh meals this week, three of those, and then my brother and sister-in-law are going to come over Saturday night for the Alabama LSU game and that'll be the first time seeing the place and then my mom's going to be here Friday night through Monday. We're off Friday and Monday for personal days but we're going to be doing like wedding related stuff so um, yeah, taking that time off which will be really nice. Then the other meals I got to cook this week, I got white chicken chili to make, or stuff for white chicken chili for um, when they're here and then tomorrow night I'm going to make a chicken gnocchi soup and I'm really excited for that. Just really making a lot of soups lately because they've just been what's sounding good. But I got this Califia Farms Oat Creamer Cinnamon Roll. I really want to try the cookie butter one that they have, but I have not liked anything from Califia Farms before, so I'm really hoping that this wows me tomorrow morning. So fingers crossed that it does because it sounds really good. Also, H-E-B had literally like no Halloween candy left or at least I didn't see it. Maybe it was on a different end of the store. So I just got a little bag of Reese's and Milky Ways because um, we're not in an apartment anymore so I'll actually have trick-or-treaters. I don't think we're gonna have a lot because we were talking to someone the other day and they're like, yeah, we don't really, like there were definitely kids in this neighborhood but like they were like, we just, they don't really like trick-or-treat in here. Like they go somewhere else to trick-or-treat type of thing. So, but I at least have some and I'm prepared. I'm currently editing this video, but I really quickly before I catch you guys up on the rest of the evening and do a formal formal outro and everything, I wanted to remind y'all to check out Brooklinen and take advantage of being able to get 20% off right now since you can't always get Brooklinen on sale. We've actually been sleeping in our Brooklinen now for about a week and a half and we are absolutely obsessed with the sheets and duvet cover and pillowcases. It was hot here last week, but then now it's like really cold here in Houston and it's been so nice having sheets that are perfect for both of the climates and that's been such a game changer for us and how we sleep because that hasn't always been the case with our previous sheets. So we've been absolutely loving them. So I wanted to remind y'all to check them out at the link in the description box so you can get 20% off. I'm home and I just showered and I just remembered I have to edit a video before tomorrow morning. Um, my Princess Polly haul that I filmed yesterday evening. I need to um, go ahead and send in because it was technically I needed to have it sent in this past Friday but because the audio was messed up I couldn't so I want to have it like ready so that it's like in their inboxes tomorrow morning because I think it needs to go live tomorrow so but with that being said I need to edit the video which thankfully 
try on hauls like take a while to edit for like the try on clips but like the talking portion i can get through like really quickly um so i don't expect it to take longer than like 30 to 45 minutes so it is at 9 50 so i should be able to like, be asleep by like 11 because i went ahead and showered um and started the dishwasher and i want to go to f45 in the morning but it depends on what time i get done with this video um but if not i can go it's like 5 30 class tomorrow i think so um this weekend flew by and i think like both yesterday and today were so busy like just like long, not even busy i was just like doing stuff all day yesterday and then today i was doing stuff all day so i just like didn't get to like really rest this weekend like i typically do but friday night i did rest because we did nothing but watch the astros on friday night and we were literally just sitting on the couch for the three or four hours that game was on so it was like the end of the week we crashed and i went crazy yesterday and today with getting stuff done like my feet hurt so bad because i was on my feet like most of the day yesterday and then i was on my feet all day today because i was just doing stuff around the house but i feel so good because i feel like we got so much done today that we were just like pushing off so glad i got the drawer knobs changed out in our bathroom and the closet door situation um we still have to take the closet door somewhere because i'm just chilling right here right now but we got that ready we got the last two boxes broken down and out of here the last two things for now at least for like what we have because like obviously nothing's done because we don't have like all the furniture and stuff we want but for the time being things will be done once i get the guest room like more situated so super exciting but i'm glad we got all that done and i also found out um that on tuesday our new fans are gonna get installed so i'm super excited for that because i feel like that's just gonna make a big difference in the overall look of the room um and the brightness thank you guys so much for watching this vlog sorry it was a little sporadic but i feel like i got out a lot and like did a lot more things than i typically do so hopefully i'll enjoyed seeing like some different content than normal and um enjoyed all the home updates sure to check out my podcast and bloom podcast if you want more content from me new episodes on all platforms every monday it's always linked down below and then turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload subscribe and give the studio a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and follow me on social media link down below and i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.